Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim, and we are in Cobble Space Program. This is a Mod Light episode, which is basically where we get to show off a mod and talk about what it is and what it does and why it's so awesome. Um, this mod is Skillful by Infinite Dice. It literally came out last week, so there will be a kind of up and down. There may be a couple of bugs of it, but they are being fixed pretty quick, actually. I talked to ID about uh, a couple of the bugs that I'd bumped into, which were pretty minor, and he's already patched them, I think, and they're... The, updated version should be going up pretty soon with those bug fixes so it's going pretty well actually now what this mod does is it introduces the whole combat system and uh does more than just that it, while it introduces guns and ammo and stuff it also introduces a damage system so that things can get damaged by these guns and they can they can set on fire or if cockpits hit the kerbals in the cockpits can get killed and uh, other things like that like control surfaces can stop working it's kind of cool and it also does things like introduce rockets and bombs so we're going to start with my favourite part of the mod, which is the anti-air weaponry. So what we have here is basically a dual AA gun system. So this is needs to be control turret true, so you can toggle control on or off. And I've controlled both of these. And they should be on guardian mode, which means they should shoot the opposing team if they come nearby. So this tiny thing here is a friend-foe transponder, so... Currently it's set to blue team, so it will shoot any red team that come nearby. Um, let me just test. Home key is the fire key by default. You can change that. Yep, they are firing. I think they're currently firing AP ammo. So let's try taking this thing out from the air. Okay, so I've chosen a plane that's probably going to be a little bit more stable. And now we're just adding the ammo into the rocket pod. So... As you can see here, we can choose Warhead. Let's go along and pick High Explosive. Put in the LAU-68 and load Ordnance. Now you can see it's now full of Ordnance. We'll just set these up to Action Groups. You can do a right-click release, but I prefer Action Groups. So let's put the Incendiaries on 1, Armor Piercing on 2, and High Explosive on 3. There we go. Beautiful. Now, if we launch this, and here we go. Oh, one thing I forgot, we need to revert flight to hangar. We need to put on a friend-foe tag. Now, these are available, I believe they're in utility. Uh, there we go friend foe system. Now let's put it somewhere where it can't be shot. It's very difficult to damage these things. They are designed basically so that they'll be the last part of the craft to go because uh, it would be awkward if your friend foe tag got shot off first and the enemy stopped shooting at you. That would kind of be sort of cheating. Um, put it on the top because we'll be getting shot from the bottom by the, uh, the anti-air weapon. Loading, loading. Here we go, right. So... We are loaded. Let's check the ID tag system. We are red team. That's good. The anti-aircraft is blue. And let's go. Turn on torque. Missiles are nicely wrecked. Now the problem is with this plane, of course, is you've got these wheels on the back. They're going to stop it picking up quickly. Uh, but that's not really a mod thing, so let's try and stick to the mod things at the moment. There we go. So here we go. We're coming into range now. Well, not our range. Probably range of it. It'll start shooting us soon. Okay, we're now in rocket range. There we go. You can see it shooting us. Hasn't managed to hit us yet. Now let's fire the high explosive. Oh, and we managed to take off our own wing. Uh, let's fire all of them. There we go. Fire all the missiles. That's EVA. And... We crashed. And our missiles were short, it looks like. Because we were very high overhead. So our missiles try and arc down. I think we kind of missed. 
It's a shame. Now, a current problem is, of course, the uh, the rockets do tend to take up your own wings when fired. Um, that bug has actually already been addressed, and the actual update that should hopefully fix that will be coming out fairly soon. Uh, of course, this mod only came out like a few days ago, so it is going to have a couple of problems. Um, but I've already talked to Infant Dice about that problem, and it's already been fixed apparently, which is pretty good. Uh, it's just a period of time before the rocket's arm is a bit short. Now, let's have a look. I don't think we've damaged it. Let's actually just flip to it instead of trying to walk over that. That just seems a lot of effort. Uh, that's part of us. Oh, here we go. Uh, nope, doesn't look like any damage. Nope, no damage whatsoever, looks like. Which is a shame, because I was kind of hoping for, you know, some decent damage. All of our rockets impact behind it, because we were just coming in so, uh, so high up. Let's try again. This time we'll try with this drone. Now this has got bombs on board and as you can see it has three different types. Now there are plenty of bombs and plenty of guns. I can't really go through them all because I'm going to try and keep this pretty simple. This here is I believe the lightest. Yep it's a 125 pound high explosive. Over here we've got a 500 no 250 pound high explosive and then over here we have a Cluster bomb. It's a 500 pound cluster bomb with incendiary. So the idea is we're going to set a large area of fire. Now, we'll do the same as before. I believe we need to be on red team. We are indeed on red team. Our target will be the anti air. There we go. And let's take our brakes off. Now, these bombs aren't the clusters, are pretty small. So it is going to rely on us trying to get a good hit. Maybe a little bit more height is needed, uh, and they are high explosive, so we kind of want to be able to get a decent hit. They're not arm penetrating, so they don't need to be a direct hit, which is at least something. We're going to get shot at any second. Here we go. We're getting shot at, and right, we need to pull up. We need to pull up. We need to pull up. We really need to pull up. Okay, we dropped the cluster bombs as well. Ah, we were short. As you can see, that area is now a bit on fire. And yep, we were short with our bombs, which is a shame. Now, if we change, this here is a tank, as you can probably guess by the fact that it looks fairly tank-like. Now, I've attached a hull cam to the top. This is from hull cam VDS, just so we can use it as a, uh, a targeting mechanism. And over there is another tank, so that's our target. So, by using the zero delete five and two keys on the number pad. You can change them. Uh, it is possible for us to be able to move this around. Let's go back to the main thing and you can see we are packing AP ammo. Control from here. Control this. And of course we have oh, an empty rocket launcher. That's a shame. Let's go out and fill the, fill the rocket launcher. Choose warhead. Armor piercing. Choose Ordnance, Load, there we go, and we're back indoors. Right, so that's our target. We are within range, let's fire our missiles. They're en route, they are curving round. Are we going to get hit? Ah, it looks like we missed, shame. Right, now it's time for this other tank to have a go. So. Uh, that's not the right one. There we go. That's the tank that shot at us. So, we don't have any missiles loaded. Let's load some missiles. So, EVA built. And choose warhead. Uh, we want armor piercing, don't we? There we go. And ordnance and load. Good job, Bill. Right, now, let's take the brakes off. And... Turn around, face our foe. All right, let's start coasting. Now, if we fire from here, oh, oh, I think the camera's having problems going over that flagpole. As you can see, our rockets are arcing out, and we're going to get hit. We're going to get hit. Oh, it looked good. It looked good. Let's have a look. Uh, I think it's that one. Yes, we got a hit. 
don't know if we damaged... Oh, yeah, we took off their rocket pod and damaged the antenna. That yellow means that until you mouse over it, just to indicate that it's damaged, um, means you can't actually use it. Like, I'm right-clicking on it now. No effect, because it is damaged to the point where it cannot be used. So let's go back to our original tank. And I think we can then break. Right. And let's just raise the cannon up using five, turn it slightly with delete, and then home to fire. A little bit high, let's try aiming a little bit lower. Home to fire again. A little bit lower. Oh, must be pretty close with that. All right, we've had our go. Let's select the other tank. And let's try and take him on. Raise that up a bit. To the side. Oh, that looked pretty high. Sounds like we're getting hits. Let's zoom forwards. Oh! Oh, that was a hit. Oh. Right, let's switch to the other tank. As you can see, it's completely... Oh, look at that. That front panel's been damaged. Now, these front panels are currently sort of like a test thing. This damage appears when they get sort of damaged or destroyed. We've lost a wheel that's been damaged, and we've lost the protective covering on that wheel. It's now time for us to respond. We're hitting it, but it looks like the arm's taking the button of the attacks. Let's aim slightly lower. Oh, there we go. Looks we've got a good hit there. Oh, and again. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. The turret is yellow. That's, that means that the turret is no longer useful. Uh, it looks like it's got enough wheels being taken out on this side that it's immobile. It's got no weapons. It's time to abandon ship. Bob, get out and uh, basically start running. Go! Go, Bob, go! Now, there are a couple of other things in this mod. There are like 50 cal machine guns, etc. But one of the things I find really interesting is being able to do ground attacks. So let's just take the largest bomb there is. And this is a 12,000 pound tall boy. It's basically designed for going and landing on top of a battleship and then just decimating it. Uh, the tall boy is from the Second World War. And they're pretty badass. So I've outfitted this B9 plane with a tall boy bomb and eight, count them, eight, 30 millimeter cannons. Let's look at them. Oh, look at that. Firing incendiary ammo. Possibly a little bit of overkill. Now, the target is... Let me go find the target. Where did I put the target? You're not the target. You're not the target. You're not the target. There we go. This convoy over here. Now, we're going to try and drop the tall boy bomb as close to them as possible. We've already seen that my aiming with bombs is pretty damn awful. And then we're going to just strafe them with the... Cannons. So let's just select all the cannons and tell them to control. So control this. Control this. Control this. Control this. Now they have a built-in ammo. This has got 80 ammo. Uh, you can reload them, but you have to... Most m guns you have to reload by actually physically getting out and reloading. As you've seen with the audience, you need a colonel nearby. Which kind of... That uh, makes sense. You need to sort of send things back to base to get rearmed. And you can also have, like, uh, ammo trucks and so on and Kerbal ground crews. We don't have any ammo on this, so... Other than what's in the guns itself. So we will be required to... Try and conserve our ammo as much as possible. Let's just do a quick test. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
All right, I'm gonna quick save and then let's take off. So, brakes off. Gotta be careful going at the edge of this runway here. I don't want to destroy our plane before we've even began. Here we go, and now let's power up. Careful. I don't want to scrape the tall boy bomb on the runway because it is 12,000 pounds of high explosive in there. I believe I put a high explosive one on. Yep, yeah, it's high explosive. So, right, this is our target. I think there's like four APCs and two battle tanks over there, so plenty of target space. The Torboy Bomb being the most ridiculous explosive bomb there is in this mod. Um, I think we should be able to at least damage something. Then again, I'm a pretty awful shot, as we have already established. Uh, I'm going to try and get a nice low pass, but, you know, low with such a ridiculously heavy bomb could be, could be interesting. Um... By interesting, I mean death to me. Not that much of a result I'm particularly interested in. So, let's bring it around, let's bring it around. This thing handles pretty awfully with all this extra weight on board. Um, let's just try and line her up. Jobus Kerman and... Wilski? Kerman, of course, flying this mission. And they are highly trained ground attack ace pilots, so let's try and line her up. Here we go. We are lined up quite nicely. I'm gonna try and drop from say a hundred meters up. Maybe start dropping it when we're three hundred meters out. Like now. Oh, look at that! Whoa! Crazy levels of destruction. It landed a bit short, but wow. They just flew up into the air. That one there did a hole, like, at least 50 meters. That was awesome. I'm definitely going to be using them in future. Uh, <laughs> oh, good times. Right, let's do a straighting run this time around. Now, it's set to the home key, which will be a little bit difficult for us to shoot with. Um, I might just have to try and line it up and then take the hand off the mouse, which will be a bit annoying. You can, of course, change the key bindings, I think, currently. I think that was uh, introduced in the first update to the mod. So let's bring her around. We do handle a lot better now we've got rid of the 12,000 pound bomb. I mean, that's several tons worth of explosive. Designed for getting through main battleship armor. I think we're probably okay on that one. I don't think we're trying to destroy a main battleship. You can actually get torpedoes in this mod as well. Let's reduce our speed. And line her up. That was a pretty naff attempt at a strafing run, I must admit. Now this is the first release. Uh, basically, of course, mostly sensible World War II or modern weapons, as you've seen. I think Infant Dice has mentioned about possibly having a future release in which there's a few more things like uh, spacey weapons being developed, which would be awesome. And he's already mentioned maybe about moving a couple of the ordnance type stuff into the actual configs rather than being hard-coded, which they are currently, which would be pretty damn good. Um, are we close enough yet to start firing? I don't know. Maybe we need to move a little bit faster. We are pretty slow at the moment. There we go. Alright, we are pretty close now, 200 meters. Let's zoom out. Hmm, can we, can we aim up anyway? Is there any way to aim up? We're pointing at the ground a little bit too much. Yeah, we're hitting the ground in front of us. 
Let's just get closer. There is a minimum range on guns to stop them doing weird things, of course, so we need to be kind of within that minimum range. I think we've only... Yeah, we've hit our own front plane. That's annoying. There we go. Yeah, we are hitting the tank, but the tank is pretty heavy. And we are out of ammo. Nah, what a shame. Anyway, uh, so yeah, look at the ridiculous damage we've done with that tall boy. We may have not have actually been able to destroy a lot of these things, but we've managed to flip them pretty hard. Oh, that one's lost a wheel. This main battle tank got completely flipped. And that one seems okay. And so does this one. I think the bomb exploded here or something. No, they, that was on the side, so they were facing that way. The bomb exploded here. That battle tank was fine. This one got flipped. And all the APCs got absolutely thrown, flying, absolutely gone. So much fun. Right, I've been really listening. This has been the skillful mod by Infinite Dice. Uh, it is in its first release, and it's pretty damn good. Ooh, we've lost that front plane as well. Maybe we should stop shooting our own front planes with these, uh, what are they called? Canards. With our, with our, that, yeah, that cannon's probably in the wrong place. Oh well. I've been Andrew Lissim, and if you've liked this video and found it particularly enlightening and whatever, please like the video. It is actually really helpful. Uh, go check out the mod. I'll put the link in the description if you fancy getting it. And, yeah. Subscribe if you aren't subscribed. You know the drill. This is YouTube. You've probably been here before, let's be honest. I've been at Realism and stay shiny, everybody.